Whatever you speak, whatever you complain about, whatever you think, whatever you say, you will get. Your subconscious mind, your soul, the universe, call it however you want, doesn't tell you no. Is constantly telling you yes. And today, I actually want to tell you a really interesting story that might awaken you to the fact that this is a mirror reality and sooner or later, you're always getting what you're looking for. Are you ready? Let's get started. Hello everyone, my name is Nea, and on this channel we talk everything about manifestation, esotericism, and so much more. And on Patreon I do make extra weekly videos where we do challenges and discuss more about the esoteric world as well as manifestation. All my services are linked down below, coaching, tarot reading, and again, so much more. But before I get started with today's video, I have to shout out today's fantastic sponsor, which is Aura. Today's video is sponsored by Aura. Aura is a new mindfulness and sleeping app that has won the best Apple awards and is used by over 7 million people. Aura is really an all-in-one app for mindfulness, well-being, meditation, and so much more. In fact, you can think about Aura as a Spotify for spirituality. It's full of hundreds of meditation, prayers, frequency, hundreds of coaches, life coaches, and therapists therapies that you can use, and also some educational content such as CBT, which is Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. We, when you're going to start Aura, and by the way, I have a special link down below if you want to try it, but I'm going to talk about it. It's in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. I'm going to talk about it in a second. But when you're going to start entering the app, you really are going to have a personalized experience. You're going to feel a questionnaire where you are going to personalize the app according to your needs, whether you will use the app more for relaxation, meditation, perhaps for their 100 coaches, or for their stories or educational content. That is completely up to you. You get everything on Aura. The way I personally used Aura is I like to put their frequency music before going to bed in order to, re in order to relax myself and help my visualization and, and manifestation because as you guys know, I am a huge visualizer and I love to imagine like old Neville once thought in a state to a king to sleep. So I use it before going to bed and during the day, I used it in two ways. I love their prayers and their stories and their educational content because maybe when I'm doing gym or I'm walking my dog, I listen to it, I get inspired for new videos and as well during the day, I use their music and frequency because the, that music is created with certain binaural beats. You can even, you know, search for it in the app, which is perfect. It puts you in a really good vibration to visual, visualize and imagine your later on manifestation. Like I said, I love using Aura. It's really been a while. Every time I use Aura, I, found, I find some new content that is so good for my well-being, for my sleep, for my manifestation. And also I get inspired through the app for my videos. If you guys want to finally try Aura, you just have to go to the special link that I provided down below. And the first 500 subscribers who are going to use my link are going to have not only a seven days tri free trial for the app, but after that, a 25% off discount for the paid subscription. I highly suggest you, especially if you're into meditation, relaxation, manifestation, I highly suggest you to use Aura and take advantage of this wonderful well-being app. And now let's get back to the video. Okay, you guys. So now going back to the video, why? What story do I want to tell you that inspired this video? It's really like when I heard this story, which is by the way is a real story. I really thought my subscribers need to know about it because they need to understand. And this story really reminded me of Joseph Murphy and the book The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. You have to realize that even when you complain 
whatever thing you say out loud but especially because if you're complaining and if you're saying something out loud most likely you have been thought of you have been thinking about that thing for so long whatever you dominantly think you dominantly focus upon you dominantly observe therefore whatever you're looking for has to manifest in your reality it doesn't even manifest it will become your reality and this is the story there was this man that still exists by the way i don't want to give names so i know this man very funny interesting man basically this man all his life is been complaining and complaining everywhere he goes that he hears loud noises he's really annoyed by loud noises to the point where he, where he overly focus on every single noise if he's at home he will bang on the door of his neighbors and go listen you are listening to tv to your tv that annoys me it's too loud maybe the people inside the room they were just listening on normal volume so he's constantly focused on loud noises he cannot stand loud noises and he overly exaggerates noises in general he just doesn't want to hear noises at all do you know what happens in this man life because he was constantly hyperly focused on loud noises and exaggerating them in his reality through his observation and perception later on in the years he started to become deaf to a point when right now he basically almost cannot hear a damn thing this shows and proves how much whatever you hyperly focus upon dominantly focus upon has to manifest in your reality this man wasn't conscious of the fact that your focus is your currency therefore your thoughts are your are your currency because you do focus through your thoughts he was hyperly focused on noises 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 and his deep desire was to not hear these noises ever again and probably have complete quietness around his life and obviously the universe your subconscious mind his soul had to say yes because whatever you ask is always given and he had exactly what he wanted in life he became deaf now he cannot even hear a noise and the funny thing that even though he's almost deaf still he's saying that he's hearing noises oh my god that's but i know it's a sad story and we shouldn't laugh necessarily about it but hey you are the master of your reality whether you are aware of it or not your focus attention is constantly creating reality you are made by a creator as a creator you have mastery over your reality and it's time to wake up and understand that every single time that you're doubting every single time that you're wasting yourself in god or complaining about your circumstances you are wasting precious energy and precious focus and you are manifesting exactly what you're looking for now sometimes the human beings will go hey but when I'm complaining it doesn't mean that I'm looking for what I'm fearing or what I'm, I'm looking for my complaint I perfectly understand that however this is not how the universe operates because the universe and you can know better about quantum quantum physics and the observer effect i made a webinar the link is down below if you want to watch it where I explain the science behind the manifestation, the universe really works through focus attention, through your observation. So even if you complain and you're saying, but my complaint is not part of my desire, unfortunately, you are, when you're complaining, doubting, or being negative in that sense, you are, you are observing the reality that you don't want consciously or subconsciously that's all you're doing and so because the universe in your subconscious mind is neutral it will always say yes you say okay you're focusing on this on the unwanted circumstances therefore reality is a mirror that's exactly what you are going to get because reality again is a mirror so it's mirroring your states of consciousness again your dominant thoughts so this story is so crucial for you to understand because you have a limited amount of time in this earth now can we probably manifest eternal life maybe we can i never tried it but according to what i know we do have a limited amount of time on this earth and you have to really understand that time is 
values like time is money focus is your currency wasting your life gossiping complaining about the unwanted circumstances is literally being enslaved to the matrix is being enslaved to your thoughts you want to manifest what you want remember whatever you are looking for whatever you observe you will get i want you guys to become more self-aware of this thing and i'm not saying necessarily to force positivity i actually made a video called toxic positivity i don't believe in that i think that if you need to rent out something for a couple of minutes you should you should be able to express your emotion so i'm not saying to become a robot and not expressing your emotion but i am saying to become self-aware to catch yourself to understand better why are you thinking what you're thinking and to understand that your personality is being constructed through your past memories through your habits and your dominant thoughts and therefore you are not necessarily your personality you can change that you can change whatever you identify with and therefore changing your reality is just a matter of either repetition or making a strong choice or the the two things mixed together therefore every single time that you are expressing your emotion fine and leave them through but then catch yourself before you spiral because the less spiraling that you're going to do the less you are going to see unwanted circumstances in your reality the more you're going to wake up during the day and become self-aware waking up is nothing but okay what am i thinking right now i am present i am aware that's all that it takes the more you're going to do this the more you're going to be able to observe your thoughts direct your thoughts when you want them to go and therefore direct and i don't want to say control reality because i will make a different video on not to micromanage your manifestation but you're going to be able to create to compose reality in the way that you want to and there are hundreds if not even thousands thousands of success stories around the law during the years because this is exactly how the universe operates remember the story of the deaf man he was constantly complaining about hearing loud noises that was his focus he could have complained on i am so happy and grateful that i live a peaceful life i'm in a neighborhood where people are so chilled that i don't even hear them he could have literally direct his thoughts so differently that he would have probably moved or been in circumstances where he couldn't even hear the loud noises but because he was constantly hyperly focused on the loud noises no matter where he went he had to become deaf and I know it's such a sad story but it had to happen because his subconscious mind had to say yes to his desire and his desire was to not hear a damn thing you understand it's the same for everything else It's the same where you get for love you get women or a man complaining there are not good men out there or they're not good women out there anymore obviously they're not going to meet them because their reality has to say yes so you have to i know that we are not in this society educated to think in this way we are not programmed to think in this way but you need to start thinking in this way you need to start thinking that reality is always saying yes to you and this is great yeah you can be happy you know what you don't have to listen to people that tell you that happiness is a fleeting thing and you just get it once in a while you can be joyful you can be happy you can get exactly what you want at any single time the universe your reality is always taking care of you is always saying yes to you but you need to participate in the composition of this reality and the way Way you participate is with your thoughts first and foremost first aromatic principle mentalism by the way you can watch my video about the seven laws of the universe in order to become a master of all realities where i explain you all the laws of the universe how to use them to compose reality in the way that you want is in my on my channel so subscribe if you're not part of this community yet but anyway it starts with your thoughts whatever you focus upon sooner or later it does doesn't matter whether it's false or not 
God in the present moment has to become your reality. So the question is not anymore, oh, I didn't know this or I didn't know better. Now, by watching this video, you know better. And the question is only this one. What do you want to do with your time, with your focus and with your thoughts? today. You want to be on track of your mental diet, you want to be on track of your focus, and you want to focus on what you want more than what you don't want and make it fun and as joyful as possible. Because there is a lot of fun. Let's say that you want to manifest a house, right? And I've been there before. And I've been very successful in manifesting always houses that I wanted or even hotels that I always wanted at the price that I wanted. And instead of thinking, oh, I don't have the money to do this or this is too expensive, how will I get there? None of this thought. And neither, oh, I hate where I'm living right now. I wish I had a better house and start complaining about none of that. There is a lot of fun to play pretend and to imagine and walking down the street and imagine, oh my God, I am so happy because I live in such a posh house or I'm living in the perfect house that I always wanted. That's what I did when I purchased my apartment. I didn't even have the money, but the circumstances just happened to be on my side. Guess why? Because I composed reality. I decided that it doesn't matter whether in that moment it wasn't my reality living in that apartment. In my mind, I was always living in there and therefore my reality had to conform to my mind because you are the source of creation. So there is a lot of fun in plain pretend in your mind only. You don't even have to say it out loud to other people, but there is a lot of fun in plain pretend and focusing more on what you want rather than what you don't want. All I'm asking for you is to try it and to see how whatever you're looking for, you always get. And if you're looking for means a focus. If you're looking for love, all you see is love. If you're looking for money, meaning you observe abundance, you appreciate abundance wherever you see it. You appreciate successful people. You love money, money will love you. And so on and so on and so on for everything else. It's all about the focus. Okay, you guys, I hope this video was inspiring and explained you better uh, how easy manifestation can be. And this story was inspiring you to make you understand how complaining and doubting is only hyper focusing on what you don't want and is exactly what you don't want to do in order not to delay or block your manifestation. Subscribe, hit the ring bell button, comment down below, let me know your stories, and I'll see you on this channel as well as on Patreon. Love you guys. Bye.